on this channel we don't do the back and forth but in all fairness we are going to play the audio of dj academics responding to ll cool j check it out y'all treat the industry and this is why y'all all get pimped out and fucked because y'all don't want to actually be honest and share information hip-hop has turned so competitive that really your com competition with your fellow man has allowed another nigga to pimp all y'all out I ain't talking about that specifically when it comes to LL Cool J. I'm not. I'm talking about this when it comes to the majority of hip hop. And I hope y'all understand it. LL, I was, I'm not trying to disrespect you. As I said, from what I heard, maybe you moved. I think we live in the same town. We might. And I heard your house look um, fucking amazing. I know you got the bread, brother. That was never the conversation. I'm not trying to flex on you. I'm not trying to be like, oh, y'all niggas is broke. Especially you. First of all, I don't even look at you as one of the pioneers of hip-hop. Like, nigga, I look at you one of the legends of hip-hop. Nigga, like, for me, you're one of the late 80s, 90s niggas. Giving opinions nigga, of music, but in reality, right? In reality, none of y'all niggas really was trying to keep up with being in music. Nigga, if you one of the pioneers, how you don't got your own label? Every pioneer from the 80s should have their own label. Why y'all don't got your own label? Why y'all don't got some funding? Nigga, nigga shouldn't even be signing no Def Jam. Def Jam owned by a white man, bro. Warner owned by a white man, nigga. Atlantic owned by a white man, nigga. Interscope. How, how this is a black art, but we all signed the white people while the black niggas came through. They got their back. But everybody's about getting their back, not about building real companies. So I heard LL say, yo, okay, because because you couldn't build a company. Well, Ella, when I called niggas dusty, I never was saying they're just broken, whatever, whatever. I'm just saying a lot of these older niggas who are talking about current day and hip hop, like them niggas is literally just not the niggas you should listen to. I'm not going to listen to a nigga who literally got fucked in his whole deal. And now it's 30 years later. He never did nothing to, he don't even get none of his streaming. But now he want to comment on a nigga who got popping on TikTok. We don't want to listen to you. I'm sorry. Sorry. We don't want to listen to you, bro. We don't want to listen to you. And it's not me. It's just the artists themselves too. But me, I'm like, I'm in tune with the music business. I'm going to look at you and be like, yo, why are you giving advice? Why you ain't signed these niggas? I like what at least Mace did. Mace could have tried to hold on to that career forever. Yo, Mace, take some of the influence and start signing niggas. Okay, you got five years for it, I bet. What I be saying about Meek, I say, yo, Meek, yo, nigga, you were the nigga for 10 years. This, this music shit don't last forever. Then you start signing niggas, bro. You got to... Y'all niggas start, gotta start being CEOs and bosses and independent. But no. Oh, act is just making us look weird. No, nigga. Y'all look weird because y'all never did a motherfucking thing in this industry beyond get y'all bag and dip. That's why no disrespect to it and nothing wrong with it. But new niggas and new artists don't care about what y'all say. Oh, yeah.